Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. Michelle's joining me once again, finishing up our... The finale. Pr- well, not fi- final time here, but final time for the purple... For the purple tongue. Sa- purple tongue hot sauces, yeah. And we know what the main ingredient is on this, but we don't know the other ingredients. And it's kind of scary because it's booberry. It, it's almost in the season. Just go with yeah. it. <laughs> so we're going to get this open. And every blueberry sauce that we have had on oh. this channel has been amazing. Yeah. So Which is funny because I don't really care for blueberry like um, on its own that often. But in sauces, it just tends to so be pretty good. We've had the um, Pepper North yep. when they've renamed it. But it was Blueberry Plague at the time that we had it. Yep. Which was... One of our favorites. Yeah, I'm well, just trying to remember which favorites. one what was in that. That was... Um... Oh. I thought it was Scorpion. Yeah, I think it was... Yeah, Scorpion. And then there was the uh, Blueberry Pie one. Yep. That was picked up at a grocery store. And that was a ghost pepper one. Yes. And they're both absolutely great. Yep. Great for a dessert one on... Ice it's very cream. delicious. We've had it on. What else did we try it on? We've had it on marshmallows. Oh, graham crackers. Oh, yeah. I'm so good on graham crackers. Yeah. yeah. Almost like kind of a s'morish with a blueberry kick. Yes. So without looking at the other ingredients in this, just knowing that it's blueberry. So it could be a uh, hotter pepper. It could be a uh, milder pepper. It could be no pepper at all. We're just eating blueberries. Oh, I'm not even really smelling anything. That blood like makes it a distinct distinct smell. Yeah, for some reason I'm I'm smelling pasta sauce. I know it sounds weird. It smells like pasta sauce to me. Yeah, and I know, I, I know what you mean in the sense that it's just a mixture of stuff. There's nothing. Yeah. Oh, for a se- I glanced over for a second. I thought you had your spoon upside down. And it's gonna go on the table. But no. It pours like a thin jam. Oh, well, I'm just having a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you really are enjoying doing that, I'm aren't just... you? I'm not, so, still not smelling anything different. I'm going to get a little bit more of a blueberry scent, maybe. There must be tomato in it or something, because I'm smelling pasta sauce to me. Blueberry and tomato, I don't know how well uh, that work together, no. but you never know. Cheers. Do you want me to pour some on you? No, it's okay. Oh. 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 That was a big spoonful. She's got a kick. She does have kick. <clears throat> it, this one I can guarantee probably has Reaper in it. Because there's that <clears throat> kick. <clears throat> yeah, right in the throat. Oh. I don't taste any blueberries yet. Neither am I. <sighs> I think that's enough of that for me, for right? <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh. See, of course, that's the one I choose to have a lot on my spoon for. It's just right, right here, right in my throat. It's just... <clears throat> yeah, I wow. can't... Yeah, I know. Swallowing is not, not your friend. But I'm not tasting blueberry. No. I'm not tasting anything sweet. I'm not tasting anything. All I'm getting is heat. There's <clears throat> a lot of heat. Um, I still to make, taste like tomato. It's kind of a... Not a very pepper forward. Yeah. So this one is Carolina Reaper and Ghost. There you go. <clears throat> and this one should probably be one of their hotter sauces. Pesticide free blueberries. Oh, that's good. I don't want like my pesticide berries. Carolina Reaper, Ghost Pepper, Apple Cider Vinegar. White vinegar, brown sugar, uh, lime, lemon, uh, tell you, le- lime and lemon, garlic. I do take <coughs> that. Sorry, starting to salivate. I'm trying to speak. Olive oil, pineapple juice, onion, honey, Himalayan sea salt, and black pepper. It's funny. None of the sweet ingredients come through at all. No, I'm still getting all again is burn. <clears throat> yeah, it's quite strong. Nope. So I'm sticking. Just say it. <laughs> yeah, this one is definitely their hottest that we've had. Was, is it the... Four out of five. Yeah. That's what I've had in theirs in a while. It's good. In the sense that if you want heat, there is heat. 
Yeah, but there's not a lot in the way of flavor. No. I probably put that flavor wise probably about a one. Yeah. Because all I'm, I am not getting any flavor at all. I'm, like I, I can't even taste the garlic. I can taste a bit of the garlic, but really, like I said, it's to me it reminds me of pasta sauce because it's all sort of homogenized, and you taste the pepper, and the heat, but you don't taste like the blueberries. Yeah. There's no pineapple. There's no lime. There's no. It's just. There's hot. brown sugar in there too. You yeah. Said, right. You don't taste any. No. Of that. There's no sweetness. There's nothing for me. It's just all I'm getting is heat. And there's not enough um, saltiness or not not enough vinegar to temper it down. It's just like blending up a hot pepper and eating some it. More. Same amount you had last time. I know you will, so it's <laughs> Maybe not the exact same amount. Oh, maybe the same amount. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I just, the heat for me is right now, it's still in my throat. I just want to see if it'll change. <clears throat> Okay, so it does change a little bit because I've already got the heat level yeah. high. So having that the second time around, maybe a little bit of the pineapple. Still no blueberry. And I would certainly say no brown sugar and it's really not salty at all. So it does change a little bit, but not. Yeah. And now my mouth is burning again. <laughs> but that's okay. My mouth will not stop salivating trying to cool it. So it's just, I try to speak as I got to swallow <clears throat> Which makes it hurt because it's... Yeah, because uh, <sighs> at the back of the throat, you can feel the reaper every time you swallow. Just take yeah. this. And it's bitter. A little bit more bitter than the other ones. Like, it's got a real... I saw the blueberry and I was really hoping for... So we're ending on the hot one. The hot hottest ones. one. <laughs> there you go. So we didn't do a final dab. Well, I guess I just did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there you go. So yeah, like I said, flavor-wise, one heat. I'm gonna put that at. I'm gonna say a seven for heat. <clears throat> I'm gonna say flavor-wise, it was around a one two because it's not. It's not my favorite of their flavors. Heat level, I'd say. Would you say? I'd say a seven, but for me, it's a seven because it's lingering. It's not like kick you in the pants seven and then oh, then you jump in it. It's not that linger because it has not gone away. I'd say seven too because <clears throat> it is like. Well, I had a second dosing. Yeah. Um, it's like tolerable. I don't need to run out and get a drink, but it is like buzzy. Yeah, it, it, it sits there. It does not yeah. dissipate. Very both my fast lips at are all. looking a little bit red. No, it's not that I can tell. Yeah, no, they don't. Not too bad. But the heat and I in the, <clears throat> it's slowly going, but it's actually my nose is starting to get a little bit on the. I can tell it's starting to runny, kind of. It's clearing your yeah. sinuses? Because no, it's still dissipating from the throat and heading up. <laughs> I'm still good with that. And it's not bothering my stomach. It's not bothering my throat down here. Anymore. Yeah. It's just all up in the mouth area. Yeah. See, mine is, like I said, <clears throat> heat, the heat-wise is literally just right at the Adam's yeah. apple kind of area. And then there. It's, it's it probably right shouldn't have rubbed it all over my lips when I was putting it in there, but. That's okay. That's what she said. Literally. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, you just said that. So, I did yeah. say that, yeah. So, what? I don't know what people would take that yeah, all way. Just like, just re- he's re- just being a little saucy. Just reiterating what she said, that's all. He's a little spicy over there. Yeah, not not too <clears throat> bad. A good way to end it in a sense. Yeah. Not not my favorite flavor, but it's that's where the heat is. Yeah. Looking forward to trying more sauces of theirs. Yes. Uh, hopefully, by the point that this video has come out, um, we'll have picked up some more from them at uh, Ginger, Ginger uh, Goat Fest. Goat Fest. Bah. Um Held by Ginger Goat uh, Hot Sauce Company. Which they make excellent sauces too, so. So. Yeah, we're hopefully, yeah. and we'll be able to bring you more interesting videos. But yeah, they'll, they'll be there, so we check it out. Hopefully, they got another package of stuff or one that's got some different stuff that we can try. But yeah. So purple Very thud good. hot sauce, good sauce. It's not terrible by any means. It's just flavor wise, I don't get any flavor because I'm just gonna eat. Yeah, that that one's the spiciest, I think. But yeah, nice. So, but enjoy the heat, stay spicy. Just a shorter little one. Um, to finish yeah. off the finale of the yeah. new tongues. Purple dogs. Links in the bio. In the bio. <laughs> links links in down the, below. Links in the description for. Uh, purple ton and yeah, check them out yeah. if you're interested in buying their sauces whether you're just that one or any of the ones we've done in the past or do you have a favorite bar. from all the ones we've done recently 
done recently. Hard to say because I try to remember what they are, but I don't always do so well. But the one I did like, it was this one. That was the um, carrot. The carrot. Okay, so it wasn't that one. I think my favorite is the pineapple soy from the ones we've recently done. Okay, so the, the chocolate mole was a good one. The chocolate mole was good, but my favorite was pineapple soy. Pineapple soy. It must have been the carrot because it was the, I had the dill in it, right? Yes, that yeah, one had the dill. Lots of dill, and I love my dill. Yeah, he's a big deal. But yeah, they've all been good ex- in flavor wise. Yeah, except, the except unique for this sauces. One. And I guess it, it's kind of poetic in the sense that the last one I've had of theirs so far didn't like the flavor or couldn't have the taste of any flavor. The very first sauce I had of theirs didn't like the flavor. <laughs> like the heat, but didn't like the flavor. We're just making a full circle. Yeah, full, come full circle on that one. But this one definitely was the hottest that I think I've had from them. Yeah, I don't recall any of them being quite as hot, or they might have been on par, but yeah, nothing um, hotter. But I already, so already mostly dissipated. I just got a little bit in the mouth, See, a little I, bit I still on the top. A tingle, like not like a, not a hot tingle, but a tingle. Yeah. My it's my, my spicy sense is tingling. Ooh, the sky <laughs> senses. But at least he doesn't have the Peter tingle because. It's a whole different thing. It's a whole different thing. <laughs> anyway, enjoy the heat, stay spicy, and we'll see you next time with who knows what we'll have. See ya. Take care. What did they say that was good for? This one Burning your good. enemies. <laughs> uh, waffles, pancakes, eggs, fried chicken, hot dogs, pork chops, cheese and crackers, olive oil and bread, salads, yogurt, ice cream, and desserts. I don't think it would